I'm back. This is December Daily 2022, and today I decided to do um, only one day, but it's going to be a two-page spread. So I grabbed a sketch, so that'll be for this side of the page. I already did some journaling that goes with that picture, and then on this side is going to be more journaling and a couple of really busy photos that I'm going to hide in this little flip up pocket. So I am going to put this side together and I will put you on fast forward. So off camera and before I started, I die cut two different layers of um, paper. So the top one is a doily. And then the other one underneath is snowflakes and that snowflake die gave me a lot of trouble. So I had to actually, um, fussy cut around some of the little parts that didn't fully cut through. So it's probably really good that I did that off camera. Um, so I took an in inspiration from that little sketch photo and I was going to print this photo in a circle and I messed around with it in Canva for a good little while before I decided I would just mask some of the parts of the photo that I didn't like. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a little title here. It's going to say, Be Merry, with a question mark, because um, hubby's face in this photo, he does not look very merry. <laughs> he was fine, it's just this is his resting face whenever uh, people are talking to him about things that do not interest him. So <laughs> he was humoring uh, a conversation in this photo, which is pretty funny. So anyway, yeah, I did some journaling basically about that on that little tag, and I used my typewriter. Um, yeah, I'm just putting a little bit more stickers and things on it just to kind of finish it off. Pretty happy with the way this one turned out, actually. I'm also very glad, too, that I got to use up some of my red glitter um, thickers. Even though I had to mix the different uh, kinds there. there, the B was lowercase, and then the Mary was uppercase, but um, those are the kinds of things that don't bother me at all. This sticker book is getting some serious mileage, so I'm very glad that I bought it. Looks like I'm coming back to you live here in a moment. Okay, so that page is done. I'm going to put that in the album. So there's my sketch. And there's my page. Hubby's face is priceless right there, which is basically what all the journaling says. All right, so now I will put this page together. A lot of the cards on this page, well, three of them, are DIY cards from, I think, from last year that just didn't end up getting used up. So I thought I would throw them back in the album this year and use them. Um, and as you can see, it was a very monochromatic kind of look for today really like that day 13 card. That was really cute. So these two pictures, um, because they're very busy colors and there's a lot of crazy LED, almost neon looking lights in them, I thought it would be best to kind of hide them in this little flip up. So I cut this sheet of paper uh, to be three inches across by eight inches tall. And I just folded it in half to create a little uh, flip up. So if you're looking to hide some photos or journaling in your December daily album or any album, this is a really neat way to do it and still have it be an interactive, but you don't need those little three by four snap pockets to make it, to make it work. Just adding some stickers, 
All right, so the journaling is all done on this tag. And I don't think I'm going to decorate the front. Let's see if I can string this. I'm going to keep this one simple. All right. So, well, do I put a... No, I'm going to keep it simple. All right, I'm going to put this back in the page protector, and I will show you the completed project. Okay, so this page. And then the journaling that goes with it. And then this page, there's a little flip up. All right, friends, that's it for me for today. As always, thanks for coming to hang out with me, and I will see you next video. Bye for now.